My, uh... Oh, no, never mind. Okay, has it has that been recording that whole time? Because, uh, my game... Okay, here's the thing, right? Whenever I start recording, my game just freezes and XSplit just freezes for about three or four seconds. I don't know why, but that's just what they do, okay? There are no issues outside of that. It's just... They, they just freeze like that. I don't know why. Okay, so yeah. Last, uh, hello there, I'm not, I'm not Sly 49, and this is Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Last time, we killed Darkrai. Da -na -na -na. Spoilers, Darkrai is in Mystery Dungeon. Uh, no. Yeah, so now we're gonna finish building the house. The only problem is that we need more oak wood in order to build the house. But we don't have any more oak wood, so we gotta go around, we gotta get bones. Isn't there like a TV show named Bones or something? If there is, I don't watch it. I've 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 heard about bones. Yes, yes. There's this rock radio station that I listen to whenever I go around driving, just because it's it's rock music and I don't really care what's on the radio, so I just have it on there. I barely ever change a radio station, cause YOLO. Uh, and there was there's a commercial that they started playing recently that talks about this thing called bones or whatever. I have no idea what it's about, but evidently it's returning. Oh, there we go. There's a Skulton. Jeebus, I'm trying to find Skultons, and I'm having a hard time. Jesus, Jesus. No, stop. By the way, does, uh, does this... No? Okay. I was wondering if they changed it in this version of Minecraft so that uh, destroying grass didn't didn't destroy your uh, your things. Really? Three skeletons and one bone. Gosh. I am starving. Yeah, these blueberry bushes, you just pick them. You can either left click them or you can just right click them. Also, you can pick these up like ore berry, but they function exactly like ore berry bushes in every way, okay? But they have these weird pink... God damn it! Oh, God! Oh, my God! Now my last death point doesn't tell me where that dungeon was. Uh... Oh, well, it was somewhere. I don't know. Hey, I need a new sword. So, mm, that's right. So, I'm just gonna dirt it up, yo. Ow, damn it. I didn't, I forgot that my my doors are not, they're not, they're not, they're, they're, they're just not, okay? I don't. Iron, 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 yes. What the, what the frick is that? Gas nozzle, what? <laughs> what, do I, what do I use a gas nozzle for? Okay, what do I got going on here? Eh. Eh. Okay, just explode. Thank you. Ooh, and a projectile weapon. Well, not really a projectile weapon, but a projectile firing weapon. I do like a projectile firing weapon. Ow. Ow. There we go. Excuse me. Little friggin'. Little friggin'. Little zamble. And there we go. What the? What? <laughs> okay, what? what? How do I? How do I have arrows stuck in the air above me? They're cl What? Uh, I just. Okay, by the way, my, I'm the dragonborn. Foos! You're deaf now. Okay. So I'm just gonna kill a little scrubsy here. Sorry, little scrubsy. But Mime and Pap ain't gonna be coming to save you no more. Because they're dead. I mean, they're undead, so I guess they, they could come to save you, but... You know, it's just... I don't even care. I don't care. That's the bottom line here. I don't care. Ba-boom. Kinda wish that I could get more oak for my bone meal you know not these 
puny little trees. Also, is the drop rate for apples higher in this? What the hell is that noise? Oh, it's rain. Okay. Yeah, kind of wish I could get more oak for my buck. Yeah, th th that's an alright tree size. I just don't want the trees where I have to punch leaves in order to move around. Don't want that. Damn it. Uh, oak wood. Alright. Now I just gotta get this out of here. And I'm thinking that I'm gonna have the oak walls go up to here. Uh huh. I don't know why I don't have that there. I'm gonna have the oak walls go up to here. And then I'm gonna have a cobblestone roof. Just to finish off the the rustic look that I got going here. Unfortunately, it is raining, so the Nazis aren't exactly dying to death. But I do have glass panes. So, oh, you know what? I could tint my glass panes. I could tint them white. I, I, that's a lie. I can't. Huh. Oh, well. Worst case scenario, I will uh, have to lose a couple glass panes. Oh, it's the end of the world. Uh, glass panes are in short supply. The world wonders why did people waste their glass panes? Ooh, you know what? You know what? That that bow is actually in pretty good condition, all things considered. Usually, when you get bows like that. They're, uh, they're, they've got like one or two shots left in them when you get bows from skeletons. But no, not, not these bows. Not these bows. Okay, so let's get sticks. Sticks. Uh, let's get some more sticks. Okay. And then let's make, uh, I think one will be enough. Er, no, no. Since I've got two, it'll take up the same amount of inventory space anyway. Make the scoops! The scoops! Dun 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 dun! The scoops! Dun 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 dun! The scoops! Dun 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 dun! The scoops! I don't know why I'm doing that. See how my essence is doing quick. Eh, that's alright. Could be better. Could be worse. You know. So. Over here, we get the scoop. You know what? This is the, I'm not going to remember to do this later, so I'm just going to grab this right now. Uh, we get the scoops. Put that in the inventory. Get the scoops. Go up to the beehive. And then scoop the bees! Meadows drone. Meadows princess. Didn't drop a honeycomb. That is a problem. How do you have a beehive without honeycombs in it? How does that even work? Just... Just what? I don't know. Okay, so where's... Where's the closest bees? Looks like the closest bees is bees. Let's get these... Are these raspberries? These are raspberries. Let's get these. Yes. So that's how you get bees. You need the honeycombs in order to make bee houses. Once you have a bee house, you can have the bees produce more honeycombs in order to make more bee houses. But you just, you need that first honeycomb to start things off, you know? You know, well, m quite a few things in life, many things in life, just require a bit of initial investment before they can pay off. You know? And, uh, bree, bree beating? What? Bee breeding is just one of those things. Yeah. I should get an iron pickaxe. Oh, uh, you see right here? See right here? Copper, copper. Same thing, but, uh, not the same thing.
I know that there are a couple beehives that I didn't mark. So I'm keeping a lookout for those. But uh, aside from that, ooh, what are these? Oh god, are these modest bees? I hate modest bees. In the other map that I was playing on, I had modest bees. Oh no! Forest! F f forest? That's not a forest. But did have the honeycomb, so that is a victory. Now we can begin our bee operations. Unfortunately, there isn't a bee pun to be made there. If you notice, I just... I missed the opportunity to make a bee pun as I was saying that there wasn't an opportunity to make a bee pun. God dang it. Where's my house? God dang it, I need to mark where my house is. Yeah. So the berries, they don't... They don't heal very much, but they eat very quickly, which is nice, which was the bad thing about cookies. Cookies eat very slowly, and they heal for nothing. Berries heal very quickly, and they heal for nothing. So the amount of time you spend eating is relatively the same, which is nice. Man, I just, I just, oh my god, I cannot tell you how much I love this little area that I've settled in. Oh my god, I love it. Oh. oh my god, so much love. Okay, so here's how you be. You take that, you take that, then you comb bee house. Alright. And that's how you do it. After that, you just, um, what am I gonna do here? Why are there little puddles? Why are there little puddles in front of my hoose? After that, you just take the bee house, put it out the side here somewhere. Eh, right here will do, for now. And then, oh, what do I want to do? Do you want to use the forest or the meadows? I think I'm, I'm going to go for the meadows first. Then you do that, and then the bees start to mate. And then you be okay. Shatu. Psh. Yeah. So, you want to have the bees, ooh, the bees have to have, um, direct line of sight to the sky. Every block directly above the bees has to be visible. I, I think there are a couple different breeds of bee where that isn't the case, but, uh, for normal bees, yeah, no. What? I'm sorry? Oh, oh, okay. These are puddles. These actually are puddles. Is this because it's raining? I don't remember these being here before. Bees! Yeah, I know. You just make Dr. Bees reference. Some Dr. Bees references all day, every day. Our, uh... Our things aren't quite... Being very good. They aren't growing very quickly. Which is a shame. So I'm going to make a very small mine shaft opening here. What are the odds? You make a mine shaft in Minecraft. Oh boy. Hope a dup. Actually, you know what? This is barley right here. Barley seeds. Yes. What's interesting is that you can just turn the barley into barley flour. And then you can bake that to make bread. You can do that with normal wheat in one of these mods too. So, I, that makes bread three times more effective. Well, the bread itself isn't more effective, but it makes getting the bread three times cheaper. Because, uh, you know, this is bread. So in order to make a little mine shaft entrance, is pretty simple. You just sort of do that, you do that. I don't have enough wood. It, uh, fir wood, yeah. My my build here has been symmetrical so far, so I can work in the different color wood and have it looked all right. Have it looked all right. Yeah. Totemo English. Jozu. Desu. All right. So that's it. Yeah, it looks terrible, but it looks all right. So now we got to make some of that young shove. I already have a shove, but it's a pretty damaged shove. 
So, it's not going to be cutting it, you know? Going to make a second shove. Where are my sticks? There are my sticks. Make that second shove. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I just put that there. Uh, oh, you know what? That actually won't look bad, will it? Because, boom! Check it! That is why it won't look bad. Skadoosh. Skadoosh. That's a very annoying sound that I'm making right now, and I'm going to discontinue the making of it. So let's put that hoe away, and then let's get that young iron shove. Hey, breads. I like breads. I like, I like, oh wait, we need, uh, we need ladders, don't we? Okay, so let's do a chippity dippity, up in hippity. And let's get the sapling and put that sapling a little further away. So one of the things that the bees do is, uh, the bees, right, the bees. The bees will send out the bees, that's what they do. And then the bees will pollinate flowers and trees nearby, which will cause pollination. And as you know, pollination requires pollen from two different sources. Kind of. You can self-pollinate, but we're, uh, no one cares. Uh, requires pollen from two different sources. And what does that mean? That means that two different sources combine. And what does that mean? That means that you get, you get tree breeding. So not only can you breed tree, I mean, not only can you breed bee, you can also breed tree. Who could have thought? Some bees are better at breeding trees, I think. I don't remember exactly. Uh, let's see me here. Let's make some tis orches. Do I already have tis or Yeah, I do. I was looking at them just a second ago. God, I'm stupid. Yes. Okay, so let's begin the digification. So here's how you do, right? You do that, you put a torch. Oh, you do that. And then you dig out. And then you do this. And this is the, this is the method that I always use for digging out a mineshaft laddery entrance exit. You know, it's not exactly the most efficient on torches, but it is very safe, and there is no extra work that you have to do. You can you can go and just torch every other little alcove here, but who does that? I don't. Oh, I just broke the rule. Never dig straight down. Uh. Uh, never dig straight down. Uh. Yeah, I don't care. Uh, let me see here. There we go. Now continue digging. Mm-hmm. And then keep digging. This isn't the fastest method. Oh, also, this map that I got, this is Zan's mini-map. It's not Ra It's not RAI's mini-map. And there's a dungeon over there. Okay. The nice thing about this mini-map is that it shows you underground things. Not just above ground things, underground things. So it sounds like we got some lava really close here, and we do. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that! So I can't tell. I can't tell if that's digging or not. Oh well, I'm gonna dig this up. I think I have enough cobblestone now. And or no, I totally don't. Whatever, I'm just gonna dig this quick. This is aluminum, by the way. The pink stuff was aluminum. This is also aluminum. Like I said, there are different ores that are exactly the same, but they're not the same. But they are actually exactly the same, even though they're not the same. So yes, there we go. So just begin the ladder, and then the orientation of your ladder is very important so make sure that you dig the alcoves on the side that you don't want the ladder to be 
which is typically the side that you're going to be walking out. Like you see here, the door is right in front of here. Yeah, that's how you want to set it up. God dang it. Where be? Oh, now you're in my house? Now you're in my house? You come and you try to kidnap my daughter or something? Was uh, Well, it's just, I just go all Liam Neeson on you. Oh, you've taken my family. I got a set of skills. Uh, we'll find you, kill you, and take you to go see Pokemon the movie 2000. Uh. Time to roof it up, yo! Don't eat the bread. Eat the berries. Have a nice, healthy breakfast of bread and berries. You know, just healthy breakfast of bread and berries. Okay. So let me see here. So, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, so 9 by 8, that is, that is, a th that is a number, that is 72, I have 68, ah, I need 4 more, wait a minute, eh, I can make it work, okay, so I need 72. So that, that's 18. Do, do. 36. Okay, that's 72 right there. And then I need to make stairs to go around the perimeter. And that's not going to be enough stairs. Okay. So let's start this up in here. Let's have the... No, don't do that. Let's have this. Yeah, I mean, look at that. 11 to go around that side. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna need more cobble. Hmm. Okay. So, let's, uh, let's, let's just have a ladder going up here. Going up the side for right now. It felt like I had a tingly on my arm, but there actually wasn't anything. And I looked down for a second to see if there was a tingly going on. I mean, there was a tingly going on in my arm, but it wasn't actually anything. And in that moment, I accidentally walked over. No flowers. These flowers right here are actually part of the We Plant F Pam's Flowers mod. Which, unfortunately, means that they do not be recognized by bees. So we gotta go get our bees... Gotta go get our beautiful bees some flowers. Which is kind of difficult. Ah, here we go. Rose. Any of you guys watch, read that, uh, read that dot hack manga? I say manga, but it was actually book. It was actually text. I really like that. I really like that. That was, that was a good thing that I read. I liked it. I really like the whole idea of the whole glitch, all the glitch stuff and like those areas that you're not supposed to be in that that feeds directly into the perfect like the feeling of a perfect game environment for me. It really does. I I can't really explain it. But um just stuff like um Stuff like cut content and hidden areas that you're not supposed to be able to get into that have cool stuff in them. Just, and I don't, that's, that's not, it's not an apt description of what it actually is, but stuff like that has always been so cool for me. I don't know, I don't know why. No idea why. You know? And the best example is the, uh, the temple, the, the Temple of Time and Ocarina of Time. You know? how there was just there's just like a temple in the window the entire time obviously there wasn't actually a temple in the window that was just sort of a retcon that twilight princess made but uh it's it's still really cool to think that there was just a temple there the entire time and that is just like that's just is beautiful i like it i like it so the flowers don't have to be right nearby they can just be sort of they have to be right next to the thing. They can just be sort of nearby. What? What do you mean you're not finding the right flowers? Do you do you need do you need dandelion? You guys need dandelion over here? Hey, there are t 
totally more bees over here. I knew there was another hive somewhere nearby that I was missing. But I didn't know where it was. Do you do do you need do you need dandelions? You you got you guys need dandelions? I guess they needed dandelions. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Uh, so 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 the bees will go out. They go out like that. They go out. They pollinate flowers. They pollinate trees. They make honeycombs. That is the lifetime that this particular queen has to live. It's quite a shame. That they die, but you know that's the circle. Of, that's the circle of life. And one of the cool things that'll happen is the bees will actually make more flowers. That's right. The bees pollinate flowers. So not only is there just not only is there bee breeding, not only is there tree breeding, but there is also flower breeding. Doesn't rhyme with bee or tree. Yeah, so that's really cool. So that's going to be all for now, everybody. Until next time, I'm not Slay 49. A good night. I don't know why I was interrupted doing this. Good night. I just hit stop recording game.